and I'm here to take you on an exhibit, a tour of the exhibition called Bussy Garden Railways. The Garden Railways has nine C-scale train tracks that go through four botanical themed structures. Our first stop is at the European Travels. The European Travels is made out of botanical structures and has three different C-scale trains going at the same time. All of the botanical structures are made out of dry plant material at Applied Imagination Studio in Kentucky. All of the material is gathered from woods near the studio and it's dried before it is placed onto the structures. We're now at the Wild West train display. The Wild West train display is special because it was donated in the memory of John F. Wolfe, along with some of the structures in the European travel section. Also, some of the trains that you see on display were also donated in the memory of John F. Wolfe. Our next stop is the Who Lives Here train display. Who Lives Here is on loan from Applied Imagination. And it's a very special collection that we've done a really great job with the horticulture display. Uh, for instance, each house is representative of an animal and the garden around it is inspired by the animal. For instance, the monkey house, the plants behind it are banana leaves. Our final destination is the fairy tale land display with whimsical structures and plantings. While you're here, make sure you don't miss the enchanted tree. While the exhibition is new, there are many connections to Paul Bussey, the artist. For instance, he graduated from Ohio State University. And with his company, Applied Imagination, he created a railroad for the Ohio State Fair in 1982 at the request of the Ohio governor, Jim Rhodes. He also created a garden railway for Ameriflora 92, held here at Franklin Park. Ameriflora 92 was a horticulture exhibition that he created a display for in the German theme section. I can't wait for you to experience this exhibition yourself. 